fixes continue. It's been a long haul between boiling water advisories and busted pipes. This morning, people really reaching a breaking point. We are entering the fourth day of no water for several people around the metro area. 11 Alive's Liza Lucas joining us right now. Liza, some cities and uh, even the county buildings had to shut down because of this, but now they say they want to ease the frustration, but even they're running into problems. That's right. This has been an ongoing issue. We know it's affecting so many of you. It's the number one story on our website where we're putting a lot of resources. And in the meantime, we've been talking to people about it, including Clayton resident Kimberly Lewis. She says she hasn't been able to do the basics since Christmas because of the water outage impacting her area. I cannot wash my body. I cannot wash clothes. I can't flush my toilet. I have enough water to survive, you know, short period of time, but who knows? That was David Tooks right there. He says he's lived in Clayton County for 25 years. He's never had an issue like this before. Now we have asked Clayton County officials how many people are affected by outages and when this is going to be fixed. So far, we've not gotten a firm timeline to share, but we're going to continue asking and pushing for answers. In the meantime, officials say that they really need the community's help when it comes to reporting leaks that you may see while out and about, especially at any vacant properties. They say these leaks and finding them is really key to bringing back the water service. Now today you can get water from some several Clayton County sites, including fire stations four and 13. The locations you can see right there on your screen. You can pick up a case of water per vehicle from 1 to 3 p.m. or while supplies last and some advice here. You might want to get there early because they did run out early yesterday. They did hand out 3300 cases of water at the meantime. But again, go early and coming up for you in our next half hour. I've got more tips on what to do if you're under that boil water advisory and and we want to make sure you're keeping your family safe. I think about it. A lot of people don't have extra money to go to Walmart, right. Target, get bottled water or get supplies to, you know, clean themselves. So this is a really, really dire need. All right, Liza, thank you.